Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the storyboard that we did in last lesson um, from a film clip, clip that we watched. Um, in the first scene, we see the back of the actor. Um, she is, um, the audio is of movement and noises unknown to the audience. Um, she then moves to the kitchen where she makes a cup of tea. Um, we then go, it then cuts to a depth of view, depth of field shot of the mug of tea and then the actor actually removes this, the mug of tea with her hand and it cuts to the next scene. We then see the back of her head again and this time she's in front of a, um, a window so we can see her reflection. Um, it stays there for about four to five seconds, building tension. And then she abruptly closes the curtains. Um, it then cuts to a close-up of the hill, implying a, a point-of-view shot, even though this is not yet known to the audience. Um, she hesitates before taking her heels off, and then we see her bare feet. Um... In the next scene, we see the back of her head again as she's listening um, for about five seconds. And then the camera cuts to a profile picture, well, profile view of her face and the room where the camera pans down um, and then cuts to the next scene again. We later go back to the barefoot scene, which is there, Oops. which is there. Um, which is another point of view shot from under the bed and we stay there for but like the camera lingers for about four to five seconds or just on that point of view shot um, and then her feet move up from the bed like onto the bed and it lingers again um, we then get a um, we then get a full view of the room that we haven't had from before, which is, and it's um, like in the, in the corner, in the left hand corner, the camera is, and get that point, the full view shot. And there's silence just of that shot, and in that shot for about eight seconds. Um, and then in the, in the next scene, like there's a suddenly a man appearing out from under the bed and there's like non diegetic audio which kicks in um, as we see him move out and the camera moves with him like it moves in the same rhythm giving like a shaky unpolished feel for the audience and it's sort of unmoving there's another there's then another pov shot of from under the bed as as he moves out which then, and then we go back to see the woman actor lying in bed, which is about a mid mid length shot. Um, which then it, like cl zooms in, goes cl goes closer to her. We finally see the man standing over the bed again, holding a mask in this shot, which is again it's a bit of a that's a long shot. And finally, we go to a really close up shot where we see the woman's eyes open and that's it that's all my storyboards and the shots that we see in that film clip